All right, today we're going to go over chapter 7 in our book. So we're on page, it looks like, 179. And this is Welcoming Your Visitors, Creating Attractive Home Pages and Overview Pages. Uh, just so you know, last time, again, I was having problems with mine. I did fix it. I made some pilot, had some pilot error. So the facts on bad art is here. And there is the article that we were supposed to create last time and the links that are down at the bottom and the next what is ugly art I've got that in here you know and it was set up I just set it up like this with the accordion because that's what they asked us to do all right I did the other ones too I did just left the junk in here as far as the uh, the different information so I left that in there and then the last thing that we were supposed to do is we were supposed to go in and create a news archive and add to it the bad photography exhibition. So as far as I know at least, mine is all up to date now. All right. Again, I'll be very interested in seeing it because right around the nine week point, we're almost going to be done with the book. And I'm going to be very interested to hear what you have to say about this book. If you liked it, please let me know. If you didn't like it, please let me know. Because th this is the way a lot of these packed publishing books are written that they're very project based. I kind of like that. You may or may not. All right, either way, that's okay. I'm going to just be honest, of course. So, all right, so chapter seven again, they're talking about the home page because right now, most of the stuff that we've done for the site is we just have been accept accepting most of the default options for everything. And they mentioned the home page lures your visitors in. And Joomla also has overview pages, which are second level pages, and we'll talk about all that stuff. So you can see we've got four different objectives here on the bottom of page 179, and they are to customize the home page settings, create a different kind of home page, create and tweak overview pages, and create different layouts for different types of overview pages. All right. So one thing about this, again, there are several places in the chapter here where the author just goes and, for lack of better words, says, okay, this is the stuff you'll find under this menu. And then they explain all of them. Well, I, it's not my intention to just sit there and read to you. So that stuff, it's not that I'm going to skip over it, but I'm not going to spend much time on it, just so you're aware of that. All right. And uh, we'll see how it goes because it was a little bit of a cluster last time. So what the author says here, again, to effectively welcome your visitors and entice them, you'll create a better home page and in the following screenshots as they say they'll show what they're talking about the basic view of both of these is similar to one another but what you have on the left side is the example home page where again you typically have a single article like this and then you've got three other articles along the side that's because that's the default so that's what you've been doing thus far so what they have you do in this chapter is change that up a little bit you change a bunch of these settings and you see how, how different it'll look and they change up the home page, they change up the featured articles that come up on the home page, etc. So again, that's what this chapter is all about. All right. And we'll see how long it takes us to get through this. So again, there's the home page and that's the overview page. And the author even mentions not that it's a big thing one way or the other, but there is no real name for overview pages. That's what the author calls them. Some books call them different things, but it really doesn't matter. And as mentioned, Typically, Joomla leads your site visitor to a category content using a three-pronged or three-stepped approach, and you've seen this already. All right, You click some kind of a menu link, which takes you to some kind of an overview page. All right, And if it's an overview page that looks like this, for example, you'll have a read more, and then you click the read more to find the one you want to read the entire article. That shouldn't be anything new by now. It's, there's nothing new in that, so to speak. All right. So. As the author mentions here, and we're up to page 182, says, as you can see, what's on the home page is vitally important to your site. Well, the idea is it helps bring people into the site. Probably more importantly, it helps keep people in the site. All right. So <clears throat> people don't always arrive at the site via the home page. You know, they may be pushed there. They may click a link that pushes you over there. It just depends. All right. So creating the perfect home, mastering home page layout. Again, that's kind of a relative term because what the author is going to show you in this chapter is creating a different home page. 
not the perfect home page. It probably doesn't exist because what what is perfection to me is not the same thing as perfection to John or to Mark or whatever. So when you're working on your project, I just want you to have it look the way you want it to look. All right. The only way that I'm going to grade you or, or take off for something like that would be, you know, for instance, you know, years ago, I remember this. I had a student. He thought he was being really funny. So uh, he was in the, the .NET classes, and he started making all of his controls white on a white background because he thought that was funny. All right. And, you know, and then he, he said, well, what was my grade? I said, well, it's right on there. So what do you mean? Well, I said I did it in black on a black background. And, and he said, but I can't change that. I said, yeah, so now you'll never know. You know so that lasted one or, one or two programs, and then afterwards he stopped doing it. All right. But all I'm saying is that to him wasn't perfection, but that was cool, that was cute, that was whatever. As long as it's, it's, as it's somewhat pleasing, and even that, that's a relative term. Because for some people, you know, you see a red background, and it just, that just gives them the shakes. And other people, oh, that's my favorite color. I love everything red. All right, and everybody's different. Talked about this in other classes before that, you know, if you, you know, I, I'm not a guy who's, who's a, a big design guy. You can tell by the way I look and the way I dress. But by the same token, many, many books on web design will tell you that if you're going to use colors, especially like for backgrounds and stuff like that, you want to use muted, you know, very soft pastel-like colors. You don't want them to really stand out. You want, you want it to, to just have a softer kind of effect. All right, that said, if I was creating a site for, for MMA fighting, I probably wouldn't do that. So again, it always it always depends on what it is you're trying, what you're trying to do. All right. So what the author wants you to do then is to navigate over to menus, main menu, click the advanced options tab, and change it from this, which is one three three zero, to zero two one four. And again, maybe you've noticed this as we've been going along in here, but this book was written for version three. All right. And the reason I'm telling you that is not all of our menus have the exact same things on there, and they don't, you know, sometimes you have to navigate your way around to look at them. Now, if I'd have been lucky, the author would have came out with the book about a month earlier than he did, and I could have changed to that one. If you don't know it, and I don't want to bore you or get off on a tangent too bad, but if you don't know this, for instance, by, by no later, I think it's October 15th, I'll have to have book orders in for spring, and they can't change. Once they've been posted to Banner, it is against the law for us to change them. Even if somehow I find a greater book, Doug did this a couple years ago. He found a book by the same publisher, the same author. It was half the size and half the price. They wouldn't let him change it. And the, the ex def what he was given was, it's already in Banner, it can't change. All right, so, all right. But that would have been nicer because we would have had probably a more up-to-date book. So they want us to come in here to menus. I'll just start to follow the steps, and we'll see how it works. Hopefully it won't be the cluster that it was the other day. Oops. All right. So I'm going to come in here, and as they say, we want to go into menus. System panel here. All right. And to main menu, in the menu manager, click on home. And as mentioned right here, we want to click on the Advanced Options tab. Well, again, there's no real Advanced Options. There's an Options tab here. All right. And is that the one? Well, we want to go Options, and we want to find the Layout Options section. All right. I know I did this the other day, but I don't remember where it was, so I'll look around. Let's go to Layout. That looks better. All right. And as you can see, it says right now 1330. All right. And if we come over to here, we can see when we go to our home page, what it looks like right now. All right? Okay. So they want us to change that from 1330 to 0, 2, 1, 4. And before I click it, let's look at this. Leading articles, 0. There isn't any. So now we've got that one leading article that runs along the screen. Intro articles. All right? We had it at 3, it is now 2. Columnar format. It was at three, so that's why you got the three, you know, three articles, one type of thing. Now there's one. And links, there were zero, and there's four. And the only reason I'm, I'm taking a second to go over this is just to tell you, too, a lot of this will be predicated on what's on your home page. In other words, if you've got a home page that only has one article on it, it's, it's not going to look all that much different when you start changing these things. All right? So they want you to do that. So I've done steps one and two. 
And as it says on the top of the next page here, it says these are the quote magic numbers and they explain what all of them are and then they say save your changes and click on view site to see what's happened. All right, now you should see two, two full one with intro text. It says although you set the links to four, only two articles are displayed because right now there are only four of them. All right, so there's nothing more to display. All right, and mine is, of course is not going to look exactly like the author's is going to look. All right, but I will save and close and I'll go to the site. All right. And it may not look that different, but you may or may not have been able to tell I had two other articles under here. They're not here anymore. Plus, the way this was set up before, and we've talked about this with the read more links, the way this had been set up earlier, is this article looked okay. Then this one got a little bit narrower. Then the next one got a little bit narrower. Then the next one got even more narrow. All right. And it appeared that it had something to do with the read more links. When you took those out, then it, it came up and it looked fine. But what we're starting to do is we're starting to get some look and feel to this. I don't know. All right, we're, we're talking about having it look a different way. So as mentioned in your text here on step four, it says click view. All right, now what the idea is, we've changed the look and feel of this. All right, did we make it look better? Did we make it look worse? I'm just saying, saying we changed the look and feel of it. You all have your own feelings as to whether or not it looks better. Again, as you notice, by default, the Joomla home link is of the features article menu type. All right. So it says, have a go hero, tweak some of the page layout options. So we can come in here, and as it says, we can do things like set pagination to hide and set a lot of other stuff. Again, I'll let you do that on your own. For me to go back and just start clicking through options, I don't think is really showing you a whole heck of a lot. All right. The only thing that I would mention, and we talked about this before, is as you start going through the stuff that's in your layout menu. All right. So when you go over here and you do go to layout, and this is what we just changed. But remember that, that pagination, et cetera, some of the other stuff, when you start to go through these, you can really make, make, make it look a lot different by removing things and just changing around order. And that's really what this chapter is about. All right. They've gone through most of the stuff in the site, so they're working a lot on aesthetics now. This chapter is bringing you into the site, keeping you in the site. Adding items to the home page, as mentioned on the bottom of page 85, right now <coughs> there isn't a whole heck of a lot in there. So they have you go in and go into the content article manager and add two different or two new articles. Those being Corba Magazine looking for authors and Hideous Owners Art Meetings. All right. And when you do the first one, they have you put it in, and the only thing that they have in there is just text. By default, when you start adding new articles, they appear, if they're in the featured section, the newest one goes on top by default, although you can change that, and we'll look at that in just a couple minutes. All right. And right now, I guess the only thing I'd say about this is there's absolutely nothing wrong with it other than the fact that since there isn't any, any uh, it, since it's all text, it looks a little bland. All right. Again, you may or may not agree with that. But no, notice now that previously, we only had two links down there, now we have three because we added another article. And if we add yet another one, now we'll have four. So it's pushing down, all right, whatever we had there previously. All right. And again, I can do that, but I don't know if that's going to really, you know, I, I think we can have better uses of our time than that. All right. So controlling the order of your pages manually, I'm on page 187. And as the author says, now that you've reorganized your home page layout, you probably want some control over the order of the home page items. To manually set the order, first edit it, click the advanced options under the layout menu and set the category list to no order. All right. And it says then click save and close. All right. And then go to content featured articles. What they're doing is they're totally ch removing any kind of order whatsoever. So you can go back in and you can reset it the way you want. Again, a natural way to possibly set it would be the newest first. All right. And if you say, well, geez, I don't really want to do that. Well, remember, if you set it to the newest first, bless you, if you do set it to the newest first and you decide you want to move an article up, you can go in, and we've talked about this in earlier chapters, you can change the modified date on an article. And when you do that, 
you know, even if it's an older article, if you change the modified date and it becomes the current date, that'll move up them in the hierarchy. So that's what they have you doing here. All right. And you've seen this kind of thing before, where if you look along the side here on page 187, where you get those three kind of dots or whatever there, and when you click on there, that'll allow you to go and move this into any order you want to move it into. All right. <coughs> I'm finding that when I do this stuff on my own at home and I just take my time, it's harder for me to screw it up. But when I do it in front of you, it's very easy for me to screw it up. All right. So what they have you do next here on page 188, as mentioned, is show the newest article first. Four-step process. Go to menus, main menu. Click the home link, as we just did. Go to the advanced options, as we just did. Make sure that currently the category order is set to no order. And then in the article order drop down, choose most recent first. All right. And that's basically it. All right. And it says, as the date for ordering, select create date. All right. And again, you can put them in creation date by the newest. You can put them by the oldest. It just depends on what it is you want to do. And I was actually thinking about this the other day. And I thought, well, why would anybody ever want the oldest? There may be actually a reason for that, depending on the type of site that you're creating. All right? And it also may be that what you want on your main page is something that you consider topical. In other words, it has nothing to do with date. All right? For instance, you know, with all the stuff that's been happening in the world, let's, let's assume for a second that uh, there, was an art, there was some kind of, a, of an exhibition that took place in the past that was on Eastern art, all right? or maybe you know, Arabic art or whatever, something in, in, or something in the Middle East where you might think that's topical now and you might want to show that even though it happened a while back. All right, something like that. So again, as always, the stuff in here, they're predicating it on the date, but it wouldn't necessarily have to be that way is what we're saying. All right. All right. Kind of an important point here on page 190, and again, just so you hear this, all right, and that is the author says right here, that, that sometimes when you look at this stuff, it, it seems, for lack of better words, a little funny. Not ha-ha, but it says, you've seen that the home link, uh, there, oh, I'm on, okay, I'm on a different page, sorry. It says here, there are six expandable option panels under the advanced options. So again, when we go back here and we look at the advanced options stuff, all right, he's talking about all the stuff that's in here, basically. All right, the options, the integration, some of the stuff, as you can see, is very small, all right? And some of it has got a lot of stuff in it. Much of the stuff that you see under these submenus, we've already covered it with other things that we've talked about. I mean, things like metadata. I mean, how much more can you talk about that? You know, when you talk about metadata, for one thing, it's pretty much going to be the same regardless of how you're talking about it. So the stuff we'd be most concerned with, all right, would be the details, the actual layout itself, which we've started to go over here. And again, I think you get more of playing with some of these options yourselves and the options that they go through in here all right and some of the integration that's the stuff for the RSS feed if you're going to have that how you want to set your link types up we've looked a little bit at that the page display all right do you want headings etc all right but what they show then on the next few pages and it is an explanation of all the different things that are in here all right so it says under layout options this is the stuff that you have now, we've already set a bunch of this stuff, the number of columns, the number of links. That's what we did first. So we've already gone through this stuff. An important point here on page 191 is the author talks about category order. And you notice that you can see the different options that are available. So it says if you select this options, the items are displayed in the order that you set in the article order, article order field. What we're getting to here is especially for like, for example, on your home page, do you want your stuff put in there, the articles featured by category, or do you want them featured by date, or do you want them featured by something else? And that's what the author is talking about in here. All right, same kind of stuff. Do you want pagination? In other words, do you want that start and the previous, et cetera? Some people like that. Some people find that hard to look at. I already showed you that before that I put that in there and I added the accordion feature that they talked about. Some people like that, some people don't. All right. <clears throat> the article options, and again, I'm just saying this one last time. You've already heard me say it. 
and that is the fact that the now it's called options it's not article options so as time goes on what is in here might change a little bit they might move things around in menus they might change the name of a menu etc but the ideas still pretty much hold true all right do you want to show a title all right do you want to show this information that's here and the other thing that's kind of interesting about this when they talk about show category on the bottom of the page notice that if you leave this here and you, you where you have the category if you have the show category that literally is a hyperlink so that'll get you back to all the club meetings if you want to be able to move your way around there not only is there a show category but there's a show parent which shows you both and you can hyperlink one or both of them okay so it is a way that you can make it easier for the user to iterate his or her way around the system all right. the integration which is next I've already talked about that well, I guess there's a couple more options but it's the same stuff do you want to show all this all right and they went a little nuts here and showed everything in other words the parent category the category the publish date the update date the creation date the number of people who have hit it and uh, some kind of a voting thing so you can show all that stuff and that's a majority of the stuff that's right there again that's a little busy not only that if you show it you've got your choice of showing it right here or showing it at the bottom of the article same kind of thing it is possible for you to put articles out there that don't have the written by you can have that not show which you might want to do if it's your site and you're doing all the work on it because to say written by super user probably isn't going to mean a whole heck of a lot to most people all right. again the integration is the RSS stuff that we already talked about the link type of options all right as it says you can add a description so when you hover over it and there's a link CSS style so if you do want to go in you can actually play with the CSS so if you want to change the color of links you know the visited the hover etc that we've talked about in other classes all right do you want to set up a link image here on page 196 all right uh, some of the page options again do you want to show headings etc and and some of it again works with CSS which they'll talk about more in chapter 11 and that there's there won't be a lot of new stuff CSS wise in there for you because you've already worked with it before and then finally the different metadata options that are on the top of page uh, 197 okay. all right so creating more than one page containing featured articles notice this this is a little bit new here on 197 by default the featured articles menu type is used only once on your site all right by default then all articles that have you have, you have put in there as featured by default show on the home page that can get a little unwieldy because well this is important so is this so is this pretty soon you've got you know if, if you set it up to only show two or three articles on the front page you're gonna have a lot of links on the bottom all right but uh, that may or may not be what you want to have happen all right so the author says you can make create as many featured articles pages as you like each one showing featured articles in different categories if you want to do that so that's what they do next so as it says let's say you want to create a page called news highlights that contain featured articles that are only from the news category all right so you create a new a menu link of the featured articles menu type and set it to all categories and then just put your stuff in there incrementally and that's what they have you doing here next <coughs> again kind of a short section but the example they put in here is kind of convoluted in that what they do is they just put in one article and they change it so that your main article now is the mission statement I don't know why you'd want to do that and in fact the author says that after they do that they say this isn't probably something you'd want to use but we did it basically for effect All right. okay. make your flies back flying around same guy same one from yesterday I think okay all right turning up to 200 creating category over you overview pages all right as the author says even if you do this you'll still want to present the contents of the website one way or the other so you can play with these category pages and again what's a category page well when you come out here all right and I go and I click on a category so I go to art lectures all right and notice what it shows me 
all right? It shows me based on the way I've got that set up, I can go in here and do the same thing we did before and set it to 2014 or whatever it was to change that around. But it's going to give me some kind of an overview page typically, or I can set up an overview page if I want. All right, and that's what this next section here discusses. So they say here on page 200 that your two main choices are a blog layout and a list layout. All right, category blog and category list. And again, as you work your way through this, I think at least what you're going to find is this isn't going to look exactly the way that it looks in the book because, again, the menu items are differently named and some of them are moved around a little bit. So they want to create a new category that's called what is Corba. And what they want to do in here is they want to put some stuff in here for pictures. All right, kind of goofy pictures, but what they're going to do first is they're going to use the default setup. So you're going to have your one longer article, and then you're going to have two articles that run along the side. Then they have you change it to 0330, so it looks like this. And then they say, now we really don't like that either. All right, so they're going to change it again, and it's going to be 3000, so it looks more like this. Again, the idea is they're just showing you that there's a lot of different ways that you can make something look by just merely changing a few different settings like you have here. All right. I guess an advantage of doing it any of these three ways, but making sure if these are the three people you're highlighting, somehow you're probably going to want to set it up so you've got pictures of all three of them on the same page as they show right here. All right. And the author says that really this looks a little bit busy and it doesn't really fit in with the overall view of the site where this is a little bit better. Now, again, that's a little bit better, as I mentioned, is a relative term. You might look at it and say, I don't like any of them. Well, then you can come up with your own. All right. So they're trying to create, they call it a Facebook page here. I don't know if you'd call it that or not. All right. And then finally they come out and they go, you know, when, when you come through here, if you want to, you can also set it up, and this is what on page 206 it looks like, to show the full article. All right. The problem with that is if it's a long article, all right, you're going to be pushing down and pushing down, and eventually you're not going to be able to see all this unless somebody, you know, you can set it up so they're, but they're going to have to basically uh, use the mouse and iterate their way down the page. Again, to some people that makes for a very unprofessional looking set. All right. But if it's like this and it's just a paragraph or two, yeah, you could do that. All right. So they want you to come in here and experiment with this stuff. And then what you're going to find on the next several pages, there's a little bit more, but after that, they're just going to explain some of these options that are in here. So here are the category options. And again, hopefully at least, between the name and the description, the stuff that's in here just makes sense to you. All right. Now again, notice what we could have done here. And you know how to do this now, where you've got Meet the Corbett team. If you wanted to, they could have done meet the Corbett team like, you, like it says right there. Who are the people behind the club for the collectors of really bad art? Meet our founding members. And then when they did that, they could have put, put a read more link in there, or they could have even put a page break link in there and had different pages for each of the members. So again, it, all that, you know now how to start setting up that stuff because we've gone through that in other chapters. And which one is the best? That's, you know, again, there's, there's not an answer to that. Which one works better? may very well depend on what it is you're trying to show, how you're trying to portray it. All right. All right, so that's the blog format. And then the second type, as they mentioned here, starting on page 208, <coughs> they go into lists. And as it says, compared to the category blog layout, the list is a more basic view of the contents. All right. So when you go through there and you go through earlier, they went to category blog. Now they want to go into category list. And what do they have? All right. Well, notice now with a news article overview link, there's a bunch of hyperlinks. And you can click on any one to bring that particular page up. Again, is that a better option? It might be. All right. And news, that makes a lot of sense because these could be, rather than this, this these could be almost, if it was a newsy type of site, this could be the equivalent almost of headlines All right. if you wanted to do that. So again, it depends on what it is you're trying to do. All right, so what they've done here, as it says, is you've created a category page displaying hyperlinks instead of the various levels of teasers or whatever it is we wanted to do. 
So the rest of the chapter on here just goes through the different stuff that's in here. In other words, the author comes through starting on 211 and 211, 212, and 213 says, if you go out here and you go out to the category options and the category blog, these are the things you're going to find under the layouts. All right, and there is an explanation here of all the different stuff. All right. Now, we're done with the chapter, and that's very fast. I'm not going to go on to another chapter today. What I am going to try to do is by Thursday, two things. Number one, I'm going to have some, some at least sketchy types of requirements for you to start creating your requirements for your project. And I'll hand that out on Thursday. That's the first thing. Second thing, I'll, I'm going to go and make these changes that are in here now, and I'll show you what I did. All right. And then finally, we'll go over chapter eight. All right. If we can do two chapters a week, then we'd finish the book in about three more weeks, All right. which would give you about 10 weeks. There's a lot of autonomy that you're going to get this semester in this class. In other words, you know, whether you're here, whether you're not here, whatever, if you get the work done, what you decide to do during the class time here is going to be up to you. So if it turns out that you work better at home or you have a hard time getting up for an 8 o'clock class or you'd rather come in here and work on your ASP.net or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. But there will be dates where things are going to be due. In other words, for these requirements, I'll say, I want you to do this. It's going to be due here. All right. And then I'll make sure I at least lay out what will be next type of an idea. But I want to be able to go in and look. So for instance, um, let, let's assume right now, and I'm not saying it will or will not happen, let's just assume for a second that two weeks from Thursday, which is what? Beginning of October, we're done with the book. All right. So now you've got all of October, all of November, and a week or two in December. So you've got at least 10 weeks that you're going to be able to work on this project. All right. And since it's a Tuesday, Thursday class, of course, we lose the one Thursday during Thanksgiving. And once you come back from Thanksgiving, it's just basically, basically hopefully wrapping stuff up. All right. But if I give you a date, then what I want to do is I want to be able to say on that date, I want to be able to just walk around to each one of you and say, Teresa, bring your site up. Amanda, bring your site up. Travis, bring your site up, and I want to see what you've been doing. All right, because I don't want it to where, yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. Yeah, I'll work on it when I get a chance. Now it's two weeks before, three weeks before the end of the year, and now you're you're hurrying to try to get stuff done. That's just the wrong way of doing things. All right, that's the reason for putting deadlines on. All right, so I told you what we'll do, and we'll, on Thursday then we'll go over Chapter Eight, which is on menus. Questions? Yes. No, I just want you to. No, the question was. I said about a. Uh, I said a third. A third of your grade, approximately, will be you putting in this site. All right, and if you decide you want to take some, let's call it artistic prose with it. So you want to go in and totally change. We go into chapter eleven or whatever it is on templates. You choose a different template, and your site looks nothing now like it does in the book, but it's got the functionality. That's fine. I don't, I don't care. I'd like you to try using some of the stuff because that hopefully will make it easier when you're creating your own site. So I, I mean, not only do I hope you'll do that, I want you to do that. Yeah, yeah I don't have a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Now, that said, I, I, I want you to have the, the, the common look of the site, maybe not the common feel, which is more what you're talking about, but what I'm saying is, well, gee, Jeff, on my site, you know, I don't have any of this stuff over there because I didn't like it. And I don't, I, I, no, but if you said, you know, I don't like that stuff there, I don't even like this, so I put it all on the top, for example, I don't have a problem with that. You know, whatever way you want to do it. Or you say, I've got a home here, so I remove the home from here. I don't care. That's, that stuff isn't that important. But I just want it to basically resonate so it at least somewhat looks the way it does in the book. But again, with the different options and stuff, no. If you decide that, that you come through there and you've got a really weird setup for some of the stuff we've looked at, so maybe you've got five or whatever, I don't, I don't really care. As long as I can read through it, that's fine. Other questions? All right, then the rest of the period's yours, and you already know what we'll be doing on Thursday then.